Hey guys, welcome back, this is Adam. And in this episode, we'll focus on protecting our virtual networks in Azure from denial of service attacks. If you want to find out more, stay tuned. In episode 24, we will talk about DDoS protection service. But before we move to the service itself, let's talk about what DOS stands for. DOS means denial of service. It's a type of cyber attack where someone attacks your server that is exposed to a public internet with an intent to disrupt that service from working properly. This, of course, might cause temporary or indefinite disruption of your service, so users will not be able to use your services. There are many types of denial of service attacks, but most of them want to achieve the same thing. Stop your service from working. In general, denial of service attacks are pretty easy to prevent because you can just block the IP from which the traffic is originating. This is why most of the attackers, instead of using one server, will employ multiple servers to attack your web services at the same time. This type of attack is called distributed denial of service, so-called DDoS. Preventing DDoS attacks is pretty tricky, because not only you need to be able to identify which servers are attacking you, but also separate them from legitimate users trying to reach your servers, and only filter the attacker out, but still allow your users to connect. And this is where Azure DDoS protection comes in. So if this scenario happened in Azure and our web server was hosted on one of Azure services, let's say Azure App Service, then in front of Azure App Service, there would be a DDoS protection service, which would filter the malicious traffic out and let the legitimate users in. One of the best things about DDoS protection is that the basic plan for DDoS protection comes with all of the Azure services by default and you don't even pay anything extra. It's already included in the price of that service. But if you need more protection, this service comes with a standard plan, which allows you to protect your application from some more sophisticated attacks. To create DDoS protection, you can just go to Azure portal, select create a resource, type DDoS, hit OK, and in the marketplace, find DDoS protection plan. This is the standard plan for Azure DDoS protection. Click create and fill in the form and give it a name like DDoS plan, select the subscription, select the resource group. I will create new one called AZ900 DDoS. Hit OK and that's it. And creation of the plan will take less than 20 seconds. Our plan is already created. We can select go to the resource and start protecting our Azure resources. By going to the protected resources section, and selecting add button to add resources to the protection plan. In this panel, you just need to choose the resource group, for example, AZ900 firewall, and choose the virtual network within that resource group that will be protected. Once you do it and select add, all of the resources within this virtual network will be protected. So to summarize, this service is our distributed denial of service protection from Azure, and it was designed to do two things detect malicious traffic coming from the attackers while still allowing our legitimate users to connect to our services, but also to prevent customers from paying more if they have auto-scaling environments. If you think about it, if attacker will try to attack your service with hundreds of servers, all of that traffic might cause auto-scaling features to create new servers in your application, and you will pay more. As I mentioned previously, DDoS protection has two tiers. One is called basic, which is automatically enabled for all of the Azure services. So if you use any Azure services which are exposed to a public internet and could be targeted by DDoS attack, then those are automatically protected by the basic tier of Azure DDoS protection. And the standard tier, which provides additional mitigation and monitoring capabilities for all of the resources which are located within Azure virtual networks. One cool thing that I thought to mention is that standard tier uses also machine learning. It uses that to analyze the traffic patterns for your application for better accuracy. So in general, standard is for those more high value applications of yours. And as always, all the materials for this episode are found under episode 24 of my website. And that's it, but don't go away because our next episode is about authentication, authorization, and identity services in Azure. If you want to go to that episode, hit on the icon on the side or follow the playlist. As always, if you like my episodes, if you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And as always, see you in the next one. <laughs>